Janos are here. Most streaming producers, at one point or another, wish they had a tool that could trim an encoded file and save the result without re-encoding. In this short tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to do just that in a free tool called MPEG Stream Clip. Here's the website you go to to download the tool. It's www.squared5.com, and as you can see, it's available for both the Mac and for Windows. And I'm working on an HP Z400 workstation here, so I'm using the Windows version. Now, here's the tool itself, and as you can see, I've got original.f4v loaded into the program. So f4v is a, is a video file encoded in H.264 format and using the, uh, the f4v container format for flash distribution. Now, if you choose File, Open Files, and you use the default video selection, you'll see that there's no file in the Stream Clip subdirectory that I'm going to be working in. However, if you go to All Files and then choose the file, you can see that MPEG Stream Clip has no trouble opening that file. So you can open files w that are encoded in H.264 format, whether they're in F4V, MP4, MOV, and probably a whole lot of other formats. So this is a video file that's encoded in H.264 format, obviously, and I want to take a chunk that starts about, oh boy, no good frames here. All right, let's start there. So to start the trim, I would select I on my keyboard, or for many people, choose Edit, Select Endpoint, and the out point is going to be, let's say right about there, and I'll just press O on my keyboard, and you can see on the timeline beneath the video window that we've got a, a section carved out, and to save it without re-encoding, all I do is click File, Save As, and then I can choose any of these four formats, and let's just use MP4, and I'll call this, instead of Original, I'll call this Excerpt and I'll save it. Now the save happened before I could drag the save file window into the recording window, so it happens pretty quickly. And if we go over to the folder where I'm saving the files in, here's the original.f4v file, which is about 36 megabytes, and here's excerpt.mp4. And if we do a media info analysis on those clips, so this is the, uh, this is the excerpt, and the bitrate is one megabit per second, bits per pixel per frame is around 0 0.109. And then if I go to the original, the figures should match since I saved that without re-encoding. Let me get them both on screen. And here's the one megabit per second in the original clip, and here's the 0 0.109 in the original clip for bits per pixel per frame. So clearly, MPEG Stream Clip saved the file without re-encoding. Now let me show you what not to do um, in order to save without re-encoding. So if you choose File Save As, you get the desired result. On the other hand, if you choose File Export to MPEG-4, that's when you get the traditional export parameters window where you can set your encoding parameters, choose Make MP4, and that's when you will actually re-encode the video. So that's not what we wanted to do here. So we chose File Save As and just exported that to excerpt.mp4. Now, I'm going to look at how well MPEG-4 Stream Clip produces H.264 in a different tutorial. For trimming without re-encoding alone, however, it's worth downloading and installing on your primary encoding station. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Jan Ozer.